everyone, Tamara here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a face mask with a filter pocket, a piece of wire inserted so that it can be pinched over the nose, as well as removable ties. That way, if the ties end up getting to that point of disintegration, they can be removed, replaced, and this mask can still be used. So for the sake of this tutorial, I did do a white face mask with red thread. That way you will be able to see as best as I can show you where all of the stitches will line up. I will link in the description down below to my blog post where I will have all of the steps lined out with photos and with the dimensions that you'll need to make this face mask. As far as materials go, you're going to want to use a 100% cotton fabric. Preferably not a home decor fabric because those are quite heavy and will be uncomfortable to wear. So choose a lightweight 100% cotton. For a standard size face mask, you will cut out a piece of fabric that's 15 inches by seven and a half inches. And for a large mask, you're going to cut out 15 inches by nine inches. Both masks will use a binding that you will cut out at nine and a half and two and a quarter inches. You will need wire. Cut your wire between three inches to three and a half inches, and then curl in the ends with your needle nose pliers. If you are going to use elastics, cut two elastics at eight and a half inches. If you use ties, you can make your ties from old t-shirts or old leggings. When you are cutting your ties, just cut your ties to about one inch. And the nice thing about stretchy fabric is that you can just pull it tight and it'll naturally curl in on itself. And that's how you can make a simple tie out of your household items. I would recommend that the 100% cotton that you are using for the face mask itself is made from new materials and a reminder to pre-wash your fabric. All right, let's jump into the tutorial. This first step, you can skip if you desire. You want to serge both of the short edges of the fabric that you have just cut out. And then you will take that fabric and you're going to fold it in half with the right sides or the good side facing in. Once you have folded that in half, you are going to mark one and a half inches in on both sides if you are doing the standard face mask. If you are doing the large face mask, then measure two inches in on both sides. Once you have done that, sew your half inch seam in towards those markings. This will create an opening in the center and that opening will be for your filter pocket. Then take your piece of fabric and just iron it flat so that the seam is open. Then turn your fabric right side out and then you want to sew along this inside edge just on the one, the other one you're going to leave loose. And you'll do about a quarter inch stitch there all the way down. Once you have sewn along that edge, then take your fabric and fold it so that you have a half inch above the seam that you created. Make sure that the stitched seam is on the bottom. Fold and iron it. Then you are going to find the center of your fabric along that top and mark three and a half inches. And it'll look like this. You want to sew down on either side of that center marking. That's going to hold your wire in place. Now that you have sewn on both of those marks, so you've created that three and a half inch section, that is where you want to insert your wire. For myself, I did not have a lot of wire, so I used pipe cleaner, but later I did realize that a paper clip might be a bit sturdier. And hopefully you have something like a pair of needle nose pliers because then you can curl that wire in, pinch it on itself. I did that with the pipe cleaner wire as well. That way when it's inserted into your face mask, it's not going to be hurting anybody once they're actually pinching it over the bridge of their nose. So go ahead and insert that piece of wire into that pocket you just created. And then you are going to top stitch around that entire square, making sure to not sew over the wire, but beside the wire. And sew this seam at a quarter inch. Once you have sewn that square around your entire piece of fabric, then you are going to want to create your pleats. To create your pleats, put your fabric down in front of you with the wire at the top and looking at the front side of your face mask. 
Then just pinch the fabric and fold it over. Make sure that your pleats are facing down. And then once you have your pleats folded in, clip or pin them. Once the pleats are pinned, then iron them flat and top stitch the side edges in place at a quarter inch. Now it's time to take your binding, which you cut at nine and a half inches by two and a quarter inches, and then take both of those edges and fold them inwards at a half of an inch. So you'll end up with a little bit of fabric that you can see in between your two folds. Once you have ironed those folds in, then just fold your binding in half and cut down the center. This will give you two pieces of binding that you now want to attach to both sides of your face mask. That is going to create the loop for your ties. Take your binding that you've just cut, open one of those folds and lay it down along the edge of your face mask. When you're looking at your face mask, it will be the front of your face mask. Then fold these top and bottom pieces over your fabric and you will pin them as well. Once they are all pinned, then you can sew along this seam at a half inch seam allowance. Once you have done this, you can pull your binding outwards and then fold those half inch pieces that were created when you folded them over originally and you are going to sew along them. Now this is a step that some people will skip. I highly recommend that you don't skip it because it will make it harder to replace your ties over time. You want to sew along that edge so that when your binding is folded over once again, it won't create a flap that your ties will get stuck in. Then fold the binding to the back, clip in place, and sew along that same edge to create the finished loop. And now all you have to do is add the elastic through the loop that you just created or the ties. Do not use this mask without a filter insert because the 100% cotton will not do a lot. It will do more than nothing, but use these with those filters. And that is how to make a face mask with a filter pocket, as well as a wire nose piece and replaceable ties. Please leave any comments down below that you think will be helpful to others making this tutorial. Perhaps you have a different way that you've discovered works better. If you're a medical professional, perhaps you have your suggestions that you would like to share. And if you are making this tutorial, I suggest checking the comments down below to see what others have said. And I just want to read this statement to you here because I believe it's very important. These do not replace surgical masks. They need to be used only in case of emergency when supplies are limited or non-existent. Thank you for watching. Thank you for wanting to make these face masks and God bless you. Bye.